Hello everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. Man, I cannot tell you how good it feels to be playing this game again. Uh, it's been a few days since my initial uh, four parts of this series. Uh, and let's just say uh, I've, I've had a few practice runs uh, since doing those four initial runs, and uh, I, I now don't think those are very uh, indicative of my skill level, so... Uh, I've been really looking forward to this all weekend, getting back and playing this game, and uh, showing my uh, newfound skill level. Hopefully it'll uh, come through and I won't choke here. Actually, this is my second time recording this. I, uh, I sat down last night, Sunday, to uh, record two episodes of this, and that was after a two-hour car trip to get back to my house, in which I was just anxiously looking forward to uh, recording this. And somehow, I forgot to record the uh, video, or I forgot to start the video. So, uh, I got my voice, but yeah, no video file. That's the first time I've done that, and I, I was kind of waiting for it to happen, because I, I know that probably happens to everybody. But man, it, it sucked to have it on there, because th those two runs took up like an hour and a half of my time, and uh, my voice was like, gone. Alright, so we're fighting Iris. Sorry, I I'm going through all, all this uh, administrative stuff first. Uh, but you know, this is a uh, typical first floor stuff. We're gonna finish all the rooms off and you may notice uh, Something peculiar that I've been doing and I'll, I'll get to that in a second Because this video is going to uh, Contain a few tips and tricks that I picked up uh, Since I've I recorded my my first four videos and uh, I have Probably three maybe four big ones and I'm gonna go over them and they're gonna be kind of the the target of this video. Let me adjust my microphone. I apologize. Um, they're gonna be the the subject of this video, and uh, so yeah, uh, you know, you, you probably already noticed I'm not picking up any armor pieces, and that is gonna be tactic number one. I, I, I guess you can say, or tip number one, to stock to uh, start our stockpile of armor pickups. We're not going to pick any up until we complete this floor in its entirety. Why is that? Because if you're like me, you probably take a lot of stupid damage. And if I... Say I picked up all the armor we've run across, uh, that may be four pieces or so, and, and say I took three stupid hits of damage, well then I'd be down to three hearts, or three uh, armor pieces, uh, and I'd have to find, you know, brand new armor pieces to pick them up. Meanwhile, if I wait and uh, use my hearts to tank damage, I'll have, uh, I'll be down three hearts, which I can easily replace as they're a little more common of a drop than uh, armor pieces. And uh, and then I'll have full the full four pieces of armor at the end of the level. So hopefully I explained that well. If, if you're prone to taking stupid damage, this tactic will really work. Now, you're gonna have to remember where the armor pieces drop because uh, as you know, it will not show us on the map. Okay, the horseshoe is a great pickup. I would love to get the armor box if we can, but uh, we actually got a decent haul here on the first floor, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot for the horseshoe drop because uh, that will uh, that will help us out a little more in the long run, I think. But if we can get both, absolutely I will. I would love to have a humongous stockpile of armor, even though really, it's almost redundant already. Like, we're, we're gonna have a lot of armor at the end of this floor. And that'll carry us well, probably not to end game, because I, like I said, I'm prone to taking stupid damage. Ah, shoot, yeah, like, like that, see? Now I'd be down two armor pieces if I picked up armor. Now I'm not, though, and there's plenty of hearts for us to pick up, too. So we can replenish our hearts, and now we'll have, what, five, six armor pieces that are, that are on the floor? So the one drawback to this is you're gonna have to remember where the armor drops are. Uh, until the next update, because apparently uh, that's already on the uh, on the to-do list for the uh, for the next update is to have little uh, indicators on the mini-map if you leave behind any pickups. So, uh, you know, I guess it'll have a little armor icon if you leave behind armor, and that will be a big help. And, uh, going back and doing this tactic if you choose to do it. Ah, now nah, I shouldn't have uh, focused on these guys. I should take down the de cyber demon here. Also, I believe his name is uh, Gilead, because that's the gun I'm using is Gilead's gun. 
And those demons have a, uh, a cannon on their arm that looks uh, quite similar to this. All right, the floor is clear, so we are free to pick up our armor pieces. Now, I've taken... I've only taken two hits. I feel like I've taken more and maybe picked up a red heart, but you see... Um, say I've taken three hits of damage. I, I'd be down three pieces of armor. But now, I'm going to have full armor drops. Uh, you know, the full armor potential for this floor, so... Something to keep in mind. I probably should have bought that a little sooner to uh, optimize the drops it would give us. You know what? I do enjoy sticky bombs. They can really help me out. I, I like to use my bombs, uh, especially against some uh, stubborn bosses. So We'll see there. You've already probably noticed me using the second tactic that I'm going to go over, but... Uh... And actually, no, now is a good time. All right, so everyone seems to know that if you jump, you get a small boost in speed. Uh, I've heard 30%, but I have no way of testing or confirming that. Uh, sadly, uh, you will lose your speed while you're in midair there. So you'll get an initial boost, and then you'll be back down to normal speed. So the only way to permanently increase your speed, or not permanently, but... Uh, what's to say? The only way to really get fast is to shorten your jump. And you do that by finding a platform that you can hit your head on. And you notice, the more I jump, the faster I go. And you can get up to some pretty crazy speeds here. Now, I say it's not permanent because, watch, we will slow down here. See, we're already slowing down. And I think we're back to about normal speed. But that is one tactic for uh, gaining a whole lot of speed. I don't know if it's game breaking. I don't think it's game breaking, at least not how I use it. But this can actually assist you in doing my tactic, tactic of uh, waiting to pick up the armor drops until the end of the stage. Now, we can use this increased speed to get around the level faster. Also, uh, one quick tip. Um, if you're kind of slow, like me, you haven't gotten any speed upgrades yet, and you want a, a small little boost before you go into the next room, look right this, right on the door. Look, we're moving a little faster. We can position ourselves a little better, and I, I apologize, I'm kind of going every which way. I, I've forgotten where the armor is, and I'm focusing on talking right now. I'm focusing on uh, uh, displaying my skills, if you will. My tips and tricks for you guys. So, uh, was that it? Only four pieces? I thought we got five. That, that's one thing. You might leave behind a few, but you know what? Uh, I, I was more likely to take uh, permanent damage. Uh, you know, more hits than armor I'm going to leave behind. So there you have it, uh, and you can do it on these stairs, you see? Just every now and then bump, bump, keep my speed up, just bump your head. It can it can really help you, like, especially later levels, you're gonna have those monkeys following you. Uh, bump your head a few times around the level, you uh, they'll never catch you. So in that way, it can be kind of game-breaking. I have no idea if, the, if this is a, a widely known... Oh, uh, there's our fifth armor piece, duh. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, fall down. Were there no hearts? Doesn't matter, I have five armor pieces, I'm not worried about taking red heart damage. All right, so I have no idea if that's a well-known thing, but I haven't seen anyone else use it. Uh, so it, it can be interesting. You know, it, it could help you out. So let's get a get a quick bump as we go into this next room. See, it didn't really help us out, but certain rooms it can give you a uh, a chance to just position yourself a little better for what's gonna come at you. Especially in later floors when you have fast enemies, skulls, and monkeys chasing you. Get this guy in the middle here. I think that guy's stuck. He's like too uh, tall for where he spawns. Uh, and now we're going to just go ahead and pick up uh, the armor as it comes. And of course, this strategy is also nullified once you get the magnet. Uh, so keep that in mind. There we go. A few jumps as we go in and get stuck under these stairs and take dumb damage. That's another <laughs> drawback if you're not careful and you're a big newbie like I am. All right. So that is uh, two of my tips. Uh, the other tip is one I, uh, I don't know if I've really gone over, but uh, I think this is imperative. I, I think the only real way, or you know, the way to give yourself the best chance at beating the game is to uh, clear every single room on the first four floors at least. And then once, uh, oh boy, oh boy, dumb damage, all right. And then once you, uh, once you get down to the Nazi submarine floors, then uh, start speed running for the boss room. Uh, but you can also go out of your way to get to the mini, bo mini boss room and, and uh, item shop. 
But otherwise, you want to speed run towards the uh, boss room or special rooms. But on these first four floors, clear everything. Get that money drop. Get that, uh, you know, collect all the money you can. And start your armor stockpile. Because uh, you're going to need it. That, that's, oh, perfect pickup, man. Because I definitely want the, uh, want the lightning bolt. And I wouldn't turn away the rum if we can get that, too. Okay, so a few hops there. No, my tactic didn't really help me in that last room because the the Gilead spawned right in the corner there. So uh, that that's still gonna happen. Like I said, it, I don't think it's really game breaking, but it can it can really help you out. And uh, oh, got a few homing shots circling us. All right. So yeah, you want to be sure to clear the first uh, few floors entirely and get all the money you can because uh, eventually you're gonna get enough to uh, make you set for the rest of the game. But you don't want to be worrying about it on the, uh, you know, fifth floor and beyond. You know, it's nice to have the money uh, when you come across a shop, but you don't want to be worried about, you know, picking up money. You want that to be done. Wow. Okay. Kill these, uh, these guys. I already forgot what their names are. Uh, I'm trying to go by the proper names of enemies. I know I've called these guys Cyber Demons. The little guys, Jawas, the guys, those uh, moth guys, Mothras. Oh crap! I, I looked at the uh, the wiki today to try to get everybody's name. And actually, the, the Jawa-looking guys, their their name I think starts with the J, and actually is kind of awkward to say. Or I don't know, I spelled awkwardly. All right, Doby, we're gonna get under him. Uh, he's gonna spawn some some of the moths. But if we position ourselves right, we might not have to worry. See, there, yeah, the mauls are actually going to hit him. Hopefully, hopefully. Ah, shoot. All right, let's uh, break away and kill the moth. And looks like another one spawned there. Take care of him. There we go. Hopefully, I don't have any more homing shots on me. I don't think so. So, uh, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> They went perfectly around him, so uh, I'm kind of squandering some of my initial armor pickups. If that happens, if you lose your stockpile of armor, uh, restart the strategy. And, uh, and wait until the end of the floor to pick everything up again. That's, uh, totally doable. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the blubber. I'm really gonna aim, well, no, no. We're gonna be fine no matter what. I was gonna say, like, if I can get the rum, but the, the lightning bolt is also a uh, speed increase, so. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go do that right now. And man, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can, uh, we can get the rum too, because especially now that we have Dobie's Blubber, those are gonna synergize really well. Um, you know what, now that I'm here staring at it, I'm not so sure, we're gonna hold off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, cause the, the rum also gives you, it gives you increase everything. So, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna get that, for sure, over the lightning bolt. I'm pretty sure the rum is a better pickup, especially with Dobie's Blubber. And, uh, you notice that I don't strafe along the wall to deal with homing shots. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do that. And that certainly is a viable strategy, but one, it makes for boring gameplay. For both you and your viewers. And two... Doing it this way will lead us into my third tip, but I will go over it when it's a little more relevant. Otherwise, I'll just keep commenting on the gameplay in general. So we've kind of rebuilt our stockpile a little bit. Five pieces of armor is an awesome thing to have. So I don't want to get too close to Gilead here. Ignore this one. Keep in mind we got some moths. Okay, four is done. Two more armor drops. That is crazy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the two runs I recorded last night uh, totally beat the game, so hopefully I don't choke here. I feel like I pretty much got a handle on how to do everything in this game, how to beat it, at least. I mean, not do everything, but you know. Okay, bad, bad setup for us. We are in all sorts of trouble here. So I'm going to use this to gain a little speed. Gilead is stuck down there. That's going to help us out. Take out the Maws, because they are possibly the worst. Uh enemies that we're dealing with right now. Okay, let's go ahead and kill Gilead and this guy right here. Alright, now, these other guys shouldn't be any real problem. There we go. Alright. There we go. So actually, my first run last night uh, started with Gilead's gun, so uh, I, I kind of learned how to use it in the 
post-game. <clears throat> so I've beaten the game with the uh, rocket launcher, shotgun, M14, and Gilead's gun in, in total. But I, I'm going to get every gun on camera at least. And I also have a few more ideas for some, uh, some videos. Uh, especially this week, I'm going to try to have a few more unique ones. Uh, some are going to be kind of experimental, some are going to be challenge runs. But I'm really looking forward to what I got uh, planned for this week. Uh, and both showing you guys and just playing it myself, because this game is so much damn fun. And also, if you haven't yet, once you go over to Steam Greenlight and uh, vote this sucker up, because sadly, they are uh, the developers are stuck doing that, despite a deal struck with Adult Swim Games. Uh, basically, Valve are being a bunch of uh, piss ants about it. Uh, <laughs> And sadly, a lot of people seem to be on their side, and I I'm sorry, but Valve is tot- I love Valve, I've been with them for a while. Been with them for a while. I have uh, played their games for a while, and I think they are a stand-up game developer, but this decision is one I just don't agree with. Whoa, okay. I love when those homing shots get close. I, I duck in my chair in real life. All right, that is it for the floor. I didn't even, uh, didn't even notice. So, let's uh, go back to the shop here. Let's get a little bit of speed, how about that? We're not going to have to worry about uh, doing this trick too much anymore because we're about to get some mad speed ups and then a speed down, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, do we have enough for both? Uh, yes, we do. Get, get it. Rum, lightning, move, shoot, and damage up. Oh, baby, we are, we are golden. Let's go over here, get Dobie's Blubber. Let me uh, actually go to where there's a doorway. Not here yet. There we go. Over here. So look at that. It's it's so much fun to move around the environment like this too. There we go. Nine health, nine armor, decent damage, excellent attack speed. We're we're in great shape. I'd like one more damage up if that's possible at all for this run. Otherwise, uh, we're in we're in good shape. Let's get away quickly from that guy. The uh, little hoppers like to kamikaze you. There we go. Oh man, we are just firing so fast. It is awesome. And that was a really dumb hit to take. There we go. Took care of him. Let's get this guy. He is, uh, has the greatest chance of hitting us. These guys are like nothing now. I don't think anything's following me anymore. Yeah, you see, I like to do kind of a circle strafe when uh, homing shots get around me. And that will, like I said, come into play later. Hopefully I fight Poseidon. Because uh, I feel I have a pretty good way to uh, fight him. That'll help you take a lot less damage. And I'm going to make a video solely dedicated to these tips. Oh, here we go. Here, here I can show another tip. I can show the uh, tip you can use against Poseidon right now. So this boss fight can be kind of tricky. Because not only does the mini boss shoot homing shots, but all of his adds do too. So I like to get a big old halo of them around me. And jump around the boss and you can see his shots are hitting him and he's taking damage. This isn't game changing. But it can help you get a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, extra damage in. Watch. You know, he'll shoot there, get close to him, shots will turn around and hit him. Yeah, the enemies have friendly fire in this game, and, and that means they, they can hurt themselves, too. So you can use this trick with Poseidon, and his Blowfish will blow up on him, and you, will, uh, you can take a little bit less damage as long as you don't stop dodging when the fight ends there. Wow! Kiss of death, more damage, great pickup. Great, great pickup. That is exactly what I wanted. Now I would take one more speed up, just because that that blubber put me at uh, <laughs> just just enough speed uh, slowness to where I'm like, Ugh, come on, come on, Tubby. All right. So man, we're we're in great shape. I'm I'm calling it now. We're gonna beat the game. I'm I'm calling it here. Cocky, uh, maybe. Right, definitely. Uh, you'll see though. You'll see. Once you uh, once you get the hang of this game, I mean, it, you know, you know how to work it. Especially if you use my patented tips here. See, we're gonna get lots of speed. Let's uh, let's go into a room at blazing speed now. Let's see. Boom. See, and and you can do this. Like some of the rooms in the late game are crazy, and you're gonna want to be bouncing around everywhere. And uh, you know, not only does it help you avoid being hit, but it makes the game so much damn fun. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tweet the developer of the game when I uh, release this video and ask him if, if you know he's aware of this and if that's how he wants the game to operate. Because in fairness, 
if it's not the way he wants it to be played, then he should probably patch it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a fair shot there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. All right, so we got the spinach 125. That is increase health and throw bombs further. Magnet, love the magnet. The magnet voids my strategy of uh, of waiting to pick up the armor. Just keep that in mind if you pick it up early. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. Like I said, I don't think it's game breaking. Uh, none of these I don't think are game breaking or completely essential to beating the game because I beat I, I, I beaten it without using my tips before I you know found them out but it can help you uh, start stockpiling armor and that, that's an important end game uh, thing to have is a nice stockpile of armor there we go take care of that guy Let's hula hoop these things into the ground or the wall here there we go oh god they almost hit me there we go it's one thing you just gotta keep in mind, you know, I, I like the hula hoop thing better, it makes for uh, better gameplay, but big chance of uh, taking damage there. And there is a crap ton of enemies on this level, and I'm surprised I didn't take damage, because uh, early levels there's one less Gilead that spawns, so <laughs> that's what was uh, tripping me up there. There's still someone left. Who's left? Oh, that guy. There we go. Those guys have kind of awkward hitboxes, but uh, I've been landing my shots on this game, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. As I take a sip of water. I'm just rocking out to the music. I hope it's not uh, too loud in my headphones and the mic's picking it up. All right, we're going to fight Hans here. Hans is going to get ripped apart. I can't believe I used to fear this guy. Going to lead our shots slightly to the left, as that's where we are uh, now to the right, because that's where we're strafing. Yeah, the only, if you have any speed at all, the only way he's going to hit you is, uh, is by the random chainsaw spawns that he does. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if this is well known, but, uh, that Hansa suit does not give you five armor. It gives you four. At least it's given me four every time I've gotten it. Oh, God, that frog might blow up on me. That's fine. We got another armor pick up there. I heard it. Sneaky little thing. And another one. They got the Gilead. Oh, yeah. Taking out the frogs here, no problem. Man, we are in-game strong, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, I probably don't need to clear all the floors now because I have, uh, one, I'm really powerful and I probably don't need to worry about buying anything. Uh, but two, I have the scissors, which is gonna cut everything in half for the rest of the game, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Oh god, get out of here. All right, gotta be careful because those can also hit, uh, hit barrels. So be careful of that. Let's uh, finish off this floor and that, that'll be it in this floor number four. So we're gonna move on to the Nazi levels and start doing speed runs to the uh, to the boss room or the uh, mini boss or item shop. And that'll be it for the, that'll be our strategy for the rest of the game. Oh boy, took a little damage there. That's fine though. We have an ungodly amount of health. I don't even know if I've ever had this, uh, this uh, high number of health and armor. So we're doing great. Easy, easy room there. Anything here to pick up? Not really. Oh, there's a room beyond. Go ahead and do that. Start pre-firing. Of course, use the environment to take lots of enemies out with those barrels. That's a, that's a, like, Paranautical Activity 101, though. I cannot hit that hopper. All right. There we go. Kill him. Ooh, we're shooting a whole lot of green bullets here. Oh, there's a Gilead and... Something else hit me. Did this guy hit me? He might have. And that's not it. Got a hopper. I think their hitbox is on the head. I, I think I finished that thought earlier. But it's kind of awkward. There we go. Alright, is that it? That is it. No more armor drops. We have, what, 29 hits in total. That is, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to be okay. Is what I'm saying. Alright, let's move on. We got everything on this floor, didn't we? Yeah, we got the shop. That was spinach and something. Let me check. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. <laughs> not not necessary to, to get every single update. Sorry, upgrade that we come across. <clears throat> All right. We're not on the Nazi levels yet. I, I, I was mistaken. I apologize. Oh, that's right. We haven't fought the skulls yet. The skulls are called Scorch. I do believe we're going to get stuck under the stairs here. Go. A little bit of a tricky room just because you got a lot of stuff firing at you from a distance, but as long as you stay aware of the Gileads, you'll be okay. This room is also kind of tricky. 
Gilead's kind of lined it outside here. Easy to get uh, kind of stuck or, you know, just run out of a path to go on. And suddenly you're face to face with Gilead. Let's see, that'll be that though. I, I thought I'd taken a few hits, but apparently we're right back up to 30 hits, so we're good. All right, this guy. Crap, I can't remember his name either. <laughs> I actually like him as far as like designs go. He, he's, uh, I think he's a uh, type of mythical creature because that's what his name is, or I don't know. Wow, another damage upgrade. Uh, I'll definitely take it. I did kind of struggle on the last boss with this gun. There we go. Uh, there's one way to handle this room uh, when you when you get to a lava room with the skulls. Whoop. Um, it, it might be best just to kind of stand in one spot and uh, let them come straight at you. If you can wing it, it's kind of hard, I know. Just because of the setup of the room. Just make sure no shots following me. Shield lover and armor box. Okay. Uh, don't really care to get the anchor. Uh, I'm, I'm just apathetic towards it. All right, was there anything in here? No. So we are, once again, in-game powerful, probably even more so than uh, the last run I did uh, last night. So, you know, I, maybe I'm glad that uh, I did this run. Uh, let's see, there's someone left. Who's left? I, I don't, uh, this room can be a little tricky because the skulls tend to come at you from all angles. So just be aware of that. And later on, the floors of these rooms will be acid once you get down to the Nazi levels. All right, I saw that Gilead spawn right behind me. There we go. Work the skull there. Lots of bullets, but we are surviving and doing a okay. There's one more moth over here. That might do it. Yep. Thanks to my damage ups, I can be a little sloppier in shooting with this gun because not all the bullets need to hit their mark. All right, uh, I wanted to sh <laughs> blow that up before I got in the range of it. Got a skull on my ass, so just gonna keep that in mind as I keep strafing along here. There we go. Okay. Should be the last guy. There we go. Is that it? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna take on the boss. Here we go, Poseidon. All right, now I can show off. All right, he goes up to do that. Get close to him. I took one hit there. And this isn't going to be a, the greatest example of this fight. I'll let him do his thing again. Get close. All right, my strategy isn't working. Usually, let's see if I can do it. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if I can get his fish to hit him now. My speed isn't great. All right, you know, we're just going to kill him. There we go. That kind of worked that time. Um... So that was a terrible example of it, but yeah, you can do the same thing here. I, I, I find that getting really close to him can cause the fish to blow up like right away and damage him and not damage you. So that's one way of doing it and taking less damage. I don't know why I'm sitting here taking all this shit. Uh, I'm just going to go down. Even at 1613, I, I, I lost a lot of armor. Even at 1315, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm so good for end game, and I'm going to find more armor along the way. I know it. All right gift shop. We definitely want to come in here. Monkeys are going to make this a little difficult, but we just have to be aware of where they are, and I've already lost track of where they are. One's right behind me. He's on the ceiling. I want him to fall. All right, he's right under me. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, monkeys will follow you, so if, if they're on a platform below you, they'll be right under you. So you can bomb and jump up like that to deal with them. Uh, mystery box and health box. I'll definitely take the mystery box. Oh, that is a good pickup. That is a good pickup. Uh, I know in earlier videos I said I don't care about flip-flops. Now, if you get them, or if you see them, uh, try to buy them. They're, they are in-game powerful. I guarantee it. Uh, cause yeah, the, the acid floors here, see they work on acid too. The acid floors are gonna become a lot more, uh, prevalent. So, I'm looking for other special rooms. Uh, we're gonna go through here. Just cause it's... So here's a room that you can uh, shoot yourself with a barrel. Uh, but here's a room you can uh, kind of strafe along. Pick up a little speed, pick up a little speed. Get the monkey off your ass, baby. Take a few dumb hits. So... I did, I did go over all my tips, and I? I believe I did. All right, that was a dead end. Let's go back. I believe that'll be the best way to go. Uh, you know what? Here might be good, too. 
Alright, we're gonna keep jumping because we want the monkeys to follow us. And if you have the Gilead, uh, Gilead's gun, lead your shots just a little bit and they'll run into your bullets. There we go. Start to get some of our armor back and then take a dumb hit. Absolutely. There we go. Alright, you drop anything? No, we're gonna move on. We're looking for mini boss or boss room. Here's a boss room. It's a lava floor, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. Actually, oh uh, no, I thought the ghillie, uh, I thought the monkey might be below me, but I did not get him below me. Leader shots a little bit. Couldn't do that very well, and I took a lot of dumb damage. Makes me a little worried, but we are still in a good position. There we go. These shots to go away. All right, let's fight the boss. Okay, we're fighting the Banshee. Here's another one. Uh, I think he has a melee attack, though, so you might not want to uh, try my trick on him. Not sure. I'm not sure. Or you can get kind of close to him and back off. Yeah, they'll hit him a little bit. All right, we're taking too much damage here. His uh, fireballs are really fast, actually. Oh, oh, I'm on his head. I'll just shoot down, I guess. I don't... Whoa, God. What was that? All right, he should be dead pretty soon. Once again, what are you doing, dude? Bro, do you even lift? Get off me. Ride him, cowboy! What is going on? Can I hit him? Yes, I can hit him. There we go. Wow, that was a really loud ding <laughs> from picking those up. Okay, that might have fucked my run, but that was hilarious. All right. Moving down. Floor number... Is this six or seven? I've already <laughs> lost count. But now I, I really want to get to the boss room. Just ASAP. But also, I can go out of my way to get the mini bosses. Man, every way it looks uh, somewhat decent. It's a somewhat open room. Let's get the monkeys following us. There we go. Oh god, we got... Uh, I think those are called Bomb Brothers or Bomber Brothers. Uh, I could be way wrong. I'm pretty sure I looked that up today, though. And what do we have in here? Anything, anything? No. How about here? Tough to tell. There could be a room beyond there, but uh, I, I cannot tell. Boss room, there we go. So let's come through here. We can use this to gain a little bit of speed. And then come out. Come out firing. Where's the monkey? There we go. I knew he'd be here. Oh god. I think I got hit by the bomb brothers. Did I kill the monkey? I can't tell. Yeah, I did. All right. So 13 and three, not the greatest. Oh, the gift shop is on the other side. Here we go. Okay, I didn't think I was on the last boss quite yet. This is another guy that shoots out the uh, homing fish, but he's a little harder to do the trick on just because he has a melee attack. So we're just going to try to kill him as quickly as possible. There we go. All right. He dropped the uh, blowfish. That'll be good. Poison damage. Very good pickup. Armor box, my savior, and trigger finger. Oh my god, how fast are we shooting? Jeez, man! <laughs> so, okay, we are, once again, I, I have no worries about <laughs> us for the rest of the game, because I believe this is the last floor. That's another thing coming in the uh, in the next update. They will show you what floor you're on. There'll be a, a level indicator. Once again, look for the boss room, or any other special room. Nothing there, nothing there. You know, my speed could be a little better. That would make me uh, uh, feel a little easier going into these last levels. And man, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. Luckily, I did get another armor pickup. Okay, we have a new enemy here. These guys have a uh, big German name that I don't know how to pronounce. They're kind of like Gileads, but they are a smaller target and they can... Uh, move around, and uh, I believe they shoot faster, uh, I think their bullets travel faster. Alright, nothing there, that's a corner room. We want to avoid corner rooms. This one lets us go beyond over that way, so let's come into here. Get a little bit of speed here. And, oh god. Yeah, the melee enemies are really gonna do you in here. Still got monkeys on my ass. Nope. Couldn't quite get them. Alright. 
can't leave. It's hard to leave my shots when they're on the ceiling. And oh boy, down to two armor. Oh, there's still a guy left right over here. There we go. Thank you for making that easier on me. Anything, anything. That might be a corner room. About through here. Nope. That room uh, is not too bad because it can take out a lot of uh, your enemies. I, I should be able to see a door on the other side if there was one. I'm pretty sure. So that's a corner room. Okay, this room uh, could be something, so we're going to move into it. You know what? I'm going to try to get the monkeys to stay on top of me. There we go. Kind of deal with that. Whoa, man. Okay. Out of armor entirely, so... I wonder if I can just... Alright, we're going to build up our speed and then go out and kill the monkeys. That poor Gilead is stuck on the floor. Already killed the monkeys. There's... Maybe there never were monkeys, and I, I made them up all along. Mini boss room. Uh, that that could be a potential place to go. I, I know I've been saying you do want to go there, but if the boss room spawns, we're going to go there first. All right, so we're going to go through here. So yeah, the main thing holding me back uh, in the normal rooms is my speed. If I can make it to the final boss, I might be able to do it without even getting hit. So not too worried about that. I'm worried about the normal rooms being my uh, undoing here. Let's see what's left. Hoppers. All right. There we go. No armor pickups, but that's okay. The uh, mini boss shouldn't deal me any damage unless uh, he sucker punches me. Okay, got a few of these guys around the room. He died in like two seconds. This guy will go down. Health box. Uh, not bad. I'll leave it here. Could come back to it. Okay, another. Uh, Potentially promising room. There we go. Whoop, took almost all the monkeys out. Or not really. There's a lot of monkeys here. Alright, now they're all gone. Got moths left to take care of. There we go. Okay. Anything? Oh god, don't get stuck now, buddy. Oh. Ah, uh, once again, another room that uh, has potential. I don't know why, what I'm taking a hit on, like, right when I get into the room. I wonder if the monkeys are hitting me. Crap, yeah. There's him, and that one is down. So we're back down to only uh, red hearts here. That's okay, I've beaten the game on uh, seven red hearts and seven armor, so, uh, you know, very similar situation here. This is not my setup, man. This is not good. Just gonna keep going, keep going. Got bomb bros up here. Those guys are kind of tricky. They, uh, I, I think they do leave their shots, or they seem to, because I, I seem to run into them. I, yeah, I figured a monkey was on my ass. There we go. Take, go ahead and take care of him and the Scorch if we can. That might be the last guy. Nope, got that guy left. There we go. Okay, we're back up one armor. That's okay. Any preservation of my health is uh, welcome. Welcome sight. This is probably a corner room over here, but let's make sure. I just can't tell. There could be something beyond, but I'm going to gamble and say that no, there isn't. All right, let's continue. Up to almost 40 minutes. This could have been a quick run if I could just find the damn exit. Once again, this room uh, has, has promise, has potential. Take care of all the melee guys. There we go. I yeah, shouldn't be of any real consequence. Oh boy. Taking some hits. That's okay though. There's an armor drop right there. Still nothing on my mini map. So where is everything? Gift shop. That'll be good. Ah, oh, what hit me there? So yeah, these last, uh, these, uh, this last four can get hectic, man. I tell you. Even if the melee guys aren't that tough, they distract you while these guys blast the hell out of you. Alright, so we're down two health. Still not even worried, though. Maybe I should be. There we go, that'll be an excellent, excellent pickup. So if there's nothing to the... Alright, there we go, boss room. And now we have the speed to venture out. And keep the monkeys off our butts. See, now I can easily lead my shots. 
And look at that. We don't even have to worry about that. There we go. Bam, that is what, that that's one speed pickup made that much difference. And here we go, final boss. I have no idea what this guy's supposed to be, but he doesn't really do anything. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. He won't attack you, but he will summon uh, some adds here. And you'll see the first one. Double Skeleto. Should be enough to take all of his minions out. I think I got him. Nope, there's one spider left. There we go, yeah. Skeleto is going to be no issue, though. We'll take him out real quick. Just throw a few bombs down there. Do some damage to the boss and Skeleto and his spiders. There we go. Take them out. Keep shooting at this guy. His health is draining pretty rapidly. Uh, he might get a second summon in. I'm not sure. I did take out Skeleto pretty quick, so it doesn't look like he's going to get it. And there we go. That is the end of the game. He fades to the floor. And here we go. And that is how it's done. So there you go. Utilize my tips. You can uh, get a little further and maybe make it to the end game. Who knows? So excellent job, Mike and Travis. Uh, you know, I love your game. Justin Macaskill, love your name, both first and last, and love your music. Uh, you guys, th this is great. Is this all three people? I want to see. Well, two main people. Third one's just music. But hey, man, the music kicks ass. Oh, Barack Obama uh, helped too, and Bisnap and Green9090. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I have plenty more to come. So I will see you guys next time. See ya.